Hey everyone, this is Anna. Thanks so much for visiting my channel. I am coming on tonight with a couple of hauls. Um, I ordered some stuff from Paper Tray Ink and I ordered some stuff from Spellbinders and they both came in today. Um, so I'll go ahead and start with the uh, package from Spellbinders. To be honest, I don't even remember how long it's been since I ordered this, um, but I can tell you I don't remember what's in here. <laughs> um, I'm pretty sure this was with their uh, clearance items that they had recently, which they could actually still be having. Um, so you might want to check their website and see. Um, uh, let's see. Oh, my order date was April 9th. So not too long ago. <laughs> Apparently I just have a really crappy memory. <laughs> so it looks like I ordered some ribbon. Let's get this stuff out of the way here. Looks like I ordered, um, oh yeah, this is really cute. This is a yellow and white gingham ribbon. It's called Pineapple Smoothie Gingham, 15 yards. And this was like, I don't know, two or three bucks. Well, the invoice doesn't have the pricing on it. Um, but it was really cheap. It was right in line with like what you would pay for like a three yard spool. Um, but it's 15 yards. So yeah, that's really cute. That little yellow and white really cute and then I picked up this one as well this one is called sweet haystack also 15 yards and again this was you know right right in line with what you would pay with a normal like three yard spool so can't beat that 15 yards and let's see oh yeah another I was apparently in a yellow mood um, I was probably uh, dreaming of daffodils too because I went and got, got bought myself some cut daffodils for the table. Um, but this one is called Pineapple Smoothie Crimp. Oh, so Pineapple Smoothie Gingham and Pineapple Smoothie Crimp. So, real cute. Uh, let's see what else is in here. Oh, these are cute. Uh, these are little buttons. Um, they are in um, the shape of hearts and stars oh you know what Marilyn G probably inspired me to go check out the store because I think she bought some buttons some little wooden buttons and these might have been similar um, these come in this really cute little envelope I don't know if you can see that let's see Marilyn G the enabler <laughs> let's see yeah this is a cute little envy here uh, it has a little scalloped edge and oh my gosh my fingers are just so dry from gardening and wearing gloves and I don't even know if I can open this. Let's all watch me struggle, shall we? There we go. So yeah, these are cute. Um, cute little envy. And it comes with uh, 48 pieces. So, and this was like not even, I'll say maybe a dollar, maybe a dollar and a quarter maybe. So that's real cute. And I did get some of these for a gift. So, uh, oh, apparently I ordered quite a few of those little things. So one, two, three, four, five, six packages. So yeah, I, am, I did have it, those in mind to send in happy mail myself or Christmas presents or whatever. Um, let's see. This is a stamp set called Grow Friendship. And of course, this is so my speed. I love the little pot and the herbs and really cute. Oh, little daffodil. See, I was in a daffodil mood. <laughs> yeah, really cute. It's a um, rubber cling mount stamp. And the images are already printed on uh, the back of the cling. And it comes with this really nice, um, this uh, really nice mounting board cute. I do believe these are my first stamp sets from um, Fun Stamper's Journey and it looks like this one is called Life's Sweetness and this is a strawberry set. I bet Marilyn G in, um, inspired me to purchase this one as well. I'm, I'm thinking that's where uh, I got the push to go over to the website so anyways really cute. Thanks Marilyn G for inspiring uh, a purchase. <laughs> um, so let's see 
I also got an order from Paper Tray Ink. And this is also from their um, blowout sale that, they are, that they've been having forever. I swear it's been like a blowout sale for a year. But the items on sale change. So um, you've got to go to the website and check because the inventory of what's on sale, of course, changes. But also the items that are on sale has been changing as well. So let's see. All right, so let's see here. Let me get this stuff out of the way. Uh, so I had recently ordered some stuff from Paper Tray Inc. and was watching a vid video from Sybil B. And she had ordered some things from Paper Tray Inc. And she had um, purchased something that I have had on my wish list probably since it released years and years ago. Um, but every time I go, you know, think about ordering or whatever, um, they're always out of stock. And so when I saw that she had ordered them and I was like, holy cow, Sybil, ah, thank you so much. You just spent more of my money. <laughs> so I went and placed an order right away thinking that they would probably be back ordered and, you know, it'd probably be August before I got them. But no, let's see if they are here. All right, so there is this little tag die. Um, this goes to a stamp set, I think, that I ordered as well. Um, this is a little die set um, that goes with a Halloween set. Yeah, they're not not—they're not marked. Um, but this goes to one of the Halloween stamp sets that I purchased. It's a, a ghost, a pumpkin, and a skeleton's face. And then uh, this is the item that I've been wanting for so long. It is the uh, card and uh, it's shaped like a pumpkin and it has a little score line here that it creates so you can fold over um, and create a card. And it has a little uh, pumpkin face pieces in there. And then the companion set is this piece here that cuts out all of the little pieces that you can layer on top of the solid piece. And there was a sample made when this die first released and it was in oranges and yellows, like earthy oranges and yellows. And they had die cut this, these pieces out of all different colors of pattern paper. And uh, it, that, that project sticks in my mind is the reason I needed to buy this die. And obviously, uh, has been in my mind ever since so whoever made that project kudos um, it was beautiful and uh, now I'm so happy to be able to make similar projects for myself so let's go ahead and take a look at what else was in here uh, I did not open uh, my packages today before uh, the video I was out planting seeds getting seeds ready for um, the uh, garden. There you go. Um, all right, so let's see. Uh, sentiment staples seasons greetings. And so this is just the the uh, seasons greetings in three different fonts and then it has a little bit of uh, sentiments down there at the bottom that you can add after the season gr seasons greetings. So really cute. And again, these things um, these were all on the clearance sale as well. So it says five bucks, but it was probably one or two dollars. This is the dice or the uh, stamp set that goes with that die. And it's this one here. And it's called Framed Out Number Five. And that's what it looks like. I just really like the sentiments there, especially. Oh, it's designed by Heather. That's cool. Um, let's see. This one is um, a called Over and Under Easy um, Holiday Editions. And so those are the stamps there. And again, this was like a dollar, so I got a couple of these for gifts. And then this is the stamp set that goes with those dies. It's called Grins and Ghouls. So it's got the pumpkin, the ghost, and the uh, skeleton's face, and then it says Trick or Treat. Oh, this one's designed by Heather as well. Oh. 
And then this one is called A Gift For You, and it's just a gift for you um, in a whole bunch of different fonts. And then the last stamp that I got was this one. And this one was probably one or two dollars. Just a Halloween set. Oh, also designed by Heather. So um, let's see. So that's what I received in that little packet. And then here's another one here. This one is called Beautiful Berries Summer. So with us growing blackberries and now growing raspberries, two different kinds of raspberries, um, thought this set would be really nice to have on hand. I cannot wait for berry season. Uh, this set here is called Sentimentals. And it's supposed to go... Um, I think they had like some scented embossing powders or something um, that went with this. You know, this is a, quite an old stamp set here. But there's uh, little fruits, watermelons, lemon or lime or orange or grapefruit. Yeah, see this is scratch and sniff. Scratch here, then sniff. Yeah, so obviously I won't be using those little stamps, but... Um, it has this cute little gingerbread, it has a pumpkin and a cup of coffee. You're such a peach. <laughs> so the sentiments are really cute, even um, if you don't use the scratch and sniff ones. So pick that set up. And then I also got uh, this one. And I think I have this one. I'll have to check because I think I ordered this one as a gift. But we'll just take a look here. And it has a couple of little ghosties, some pumpkin shapes. Mm, clear stamps smell so good. And then there's the stamps there. So, cute little row of stars and a bat. And I'm, I'm pretty sure I already have this one, but um, I actually ordered this for uh, specifically for a gift. So there's that. And it looks like the last one I ordered was Fruitful Sentiments. Oh yeah, this one is um, for me. And it has all different kinds of um, words that you would use during the canning season. And Impression Obsession just put out one of these as well. Um, it has similar words. Um, this one has a couple different ones um, and then includes like the date and recipe, ingredients, that kind of stuff that's not on the Impression Obsession set. So I thought I'd pick this one up. And that is that. So that's my haul. Um, uh, again, these are all from the uh, blowout sale. So if you go to the websites, um, you go to the link that says blowout sale or something like that. And then you'll see all the items listed that are on deep, deep discount. So... Anywho, thanks so much for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed, and uh, I hope you have a great rest of your night. Thanks so much. Bye!